Hey guys, it's the welcome to episode number 72 of the Code Hangout show. In this episode and in the next two, we're going to talk about how you can create the Snapchat camera. In this episode, we will lay out the foundation for that. And after these three next episodes, we are going to complete this app. It is the uh, the Snapchat camera. It looks really much like the Snapchat camera with beautiful custom design, very minimalistic design, and you can very easily customize it for the controls, for the features that you like. You can take a photo or it can take a video and then you can do some very customized features like you can double tap to the screen to switch from front to facing front facing to real camera or you can slide left and right to switch from photo and video mode so this I believe is a great feature for you to implement in your coming app that usually you want to take a photo or video maybe it is your next social networking app or maybe it's just some app that usually most apps now today wants to take a photo or video so that would be a great great feature for you as always the first thing you want to do is go down the link right down below download the starter project and as always when you download the starter project i will give you my next my new free ios course the latest one down below you will find all the information for that so click the link right down below this video and you'll find all the information about the starter project all the resources that you need to view the snapchat camera and the second one is my new free ios course for you that is a series of ios tutorials in a course i will send to you via your email okay so i hope that you enjoy that here we go let's go into our starter project the first thing I want you to do is go into our main storyboard because in this main storyboard, the thing that you want to do in your own project is have a view controller, a scene like this, embedded in a navigation controller. Now the nice thing about this is you don't have to have uh, always display the camera view controller which is the snapchat camera that we're talking about let's call that the camera view controller we don't have to display that modally as always that's uh, that's like every time you can do very customized thing like you can have it embedded in a view controller like we are doing here or you can have it as a separate view okay so here is the view controller what i want you to do is click onto this view controller and change the custom class into camera view controller. So we do the camera view controller over here. Then let's go back into our view controller class. This is the view controller class, right? I will change the name of this guy into camera view controller. So in your open uh, starter project, it will has all the files here laid out the exact location like this. So change the name of the class into camera view controller. And inside this camera view controller file, it has the camera view controller class, and it is a subclass of UI view controller. Okay, and then if you look below this in the controllers group, it has a class called image view controller. This thing it will display an image after the user takes a photo. The next thing is video view controller. This is the thing that displays a video after the user takes the video. It should uh, fi film a video. Now, the thing is, you can use these two classes in your in your project if you like to. If you don't use your own image view controller or the video view controller. In this project, we will shoot the video or we shoot the photo and then we segue directly into the image or the video view controller. In your project, maybe you want to show the compose view controller, the thing that you will compose a new post and post it into the uh, your social network app, right? The next thing is we have a custom camera group over here. It has a bunch of classes, a breaching header over here and our simple camera and the image fix orientation. This is the helper classes that it is an open project, open source project by Omer on GitHub. So you can check out his work there on GitHub, okay? Just search for LL Simple Camera. In your project, I will also link the link to the GitHub library so that you can have the latest version there, okay? So here we go. Let's go back into the camera view controller and I will show you exactly the steps 
to make this camera view controller work. The first thing is you will need some of the properties that will capture things like the camera, the video, the photo, some of the UI uh, buttons like the buttons and the snapshot button or the switch from the photo and video button, okay? So we have a camera which is of type LL simple camera, okay? We will use optional explicit and grabbing here and then we have segmented control which is UI segmented control over here. Now the nice thing about this is every UI element inside this project will write that in code. So it's very, very simple for you to, um, for you to customize that. If you want to do it in uh, Storyboard, you can very easily drag and drop that inside that and make this instead of a variable, just make that an IB outlet, right? Next is we have maybe an error label if we want to use this as a UI label just to show out some of the thing that we want to use just to maybe sometimes we want to display an error message. Next, we want to have the snap button, which is the button that we click on that and then we'll shot a video or a photo. And this is a, of course, UI button, right? The next thing is a switch button. The switch button is you will switch from photo to camera uh, photo to video mode. So we have UI button also. The next thing is a flash button. So you click on the flash button to enable the flash uh, LED backlight, backlight slash flash, right? So flash button, UI button also. Okay, so believe it or not, that's it. Now in the view controller, we have also in the view controller lifecycle mark over here. We want to prefose this to be the status bar hidden so that we don't see the status bar, right? And you also have to configure that in the info.plist very fast here. So you just change the view controller based that status bar appearance to yes. Okay, there's a key in the info plist. And then in the view that load over here, Let's call two methods that we are going to enable. The first thing is self.setupCamera. So this self.setupCamera, it will set up some of the states for the camera and it will yell at you because this method, I comment out like this. So I will delete this comment for the setup camera mark over here. We have a function called setup camera. So all this does is it will create a new LL simple camera and you can have a look at the code here or you can just copy paste that into your project, right? And then it will just do this. So it means this camera dot on device change is when your device change like you change from photo to video. The error is if you have some error, then this thing will pop out an alert view controller. Very easy to customize this. We don't have to talk about that. The next thing is another another function called setup camera controls. This thing, it lays out the snap button. Now, the reason why I tell you that it's very easy to customize this is that um, instead of having these lines of code, you might be just delete that and put that from the storyboard or in like, let's say the toggle of the flash button. You don't like the flash button image that I have for you in the asset or CS set over here. We have a bunch of images there. Then you can just go into this toggle flash and change the image name, right? So very easy. Next thing is the front facing camera switch button if you don't like the the image then just change the name of the image for your resources next thing is the segmented control so that will have that right so i will delete this comment over here too so this method set up the controls camera controls it's just um lay out all the controls on the screen for us so let's call that also self dot set up camera controls right like that then we have the camera controls. Next off is because this class, it is Im embedded in a navigation controller and a view controller. So we want to make sure that every, every time this, this screen starts, this view controller gets up here, then we will start the camera. So let's do this view will appear like this and we'll call this super method the super implementation of that so 
animated like that. And in here, let's just do self.camera.start. So that will start the camera, okay? This is self over there. Then we start we uh, start the camera. The next thing, let me show you how we can start shoot a photo, okay? So in this video, let's focus more on how we can shoot a photo. Below everything here, you will see target action. These target action, remember that it has to be the exact name like this. If you want to change the name of these things, then above here, okay, above here, you will see set up the camera controls. Then you'll find that I set the target, add target for the action, which is a selector for the snap button is camera controller dot snap button tapped. Okay, if you want to change the, the thing, then change this also. Okay, Xcode will yell that you will tell you to change that when you, if you change the name of this guy. So, Let's do this. The first thing is we want to check the segmented control. Is it really um, taking a photo or taking a video, right? We can check that very fast. Segmented control dot selected segment index, which is zero. If it is zero, then we are taking a photo. So taking a photo. Otherwise, then we are taking a video, right? Very straightforward, zero photo one video because we just have two modes if you want to have another mode then have another time okay so the first thing is we'll call the method called camera dot capture and the capture here is we use our simple camera and we have some uh, some data here which is a dictionary we have an ns error and i will use the second one so the second one is we have another one is exact scene image okay so I'll press enter over here. The first thing is we have a camera, we have an image, we have some metadata, metadata, and we have an NS error. Okay, inside this we'll have some code here. And the exact scene image, I will pass it true. Okay. So this exact scene image is if it sets to yes, then the image is cropped to the exact size that the preview when we transition this image this image over here to the preview okay so you have the same size of the image if you don't want that then you can switch around or inside that i would recommend that you use the same thing and if you want to maybe crop the image or um like change the what is that the resolution of the image so that it is lower than the several megabytes of the image then process it inside this closure okay so the first thing is because this capture it holds a closure and also capture ourself the self the pointer for this class so just to make sure that we don't have any memory leak let's have wick self over here okay and then the first thing is we want to check if the error is nil so if it is nil then we don't have any error okay so let's have camera dot perform selector and the select okay the perform selector and i will use this the perform selector and let me find after delay okay now the selector here is pound sign selector all it does is like it performs a method a function from the camera and the selector here will call ll simple camera dot stopped okay so after we take the photo this thing is it's already captured the photo and then after that everything is done then we stop the camera with the object we'll pass in nil and the delay let's put it uh, zero two seconds because now the thing is in iOS 9 and above uh, if we don't have this delay then the sound of the camera that like that splash sound of the camera that you see very nice sound when you turn on the sound of the phone it will get cut off if you don't have this delay okay so just have a very very like short delay 0 0.2 seconds over there okay then after we got this after we got the error done stop the camera let's transition this image to our image view controller just to preview the image so image view controller equals image view controller like this right so I will delete this 
image view controller and then you have image view controller dot image to be our image which is the image that we pass into the closure over here right and then let's solve dot present view controller and then this is image view controller and anime that is true and completion is nil now notice that this self it should be optional chaining because some sometimes maybe one way or another this self over here it isn't captured then it will be nil okay all right so that's that otherwise else let's have else over here we have print now here you should just report the message the error message here i would just print that to the console an error has occurred occurred like that okay and then we'll pass out pass into that the error or you want to do localized description if you like to okay so believe it or not that's it that's how you take a photo with this beautiful camera let's run the project into a device now notice that you have to use a device here on your iPhone otherwise this will not work because the sim simulator simulator it doesn't work on the simulator because the simulator doesn't have a device uh, a camera so I will run on my iPhone right now and if you don't have an account with developers.apple.com just go there sign up for new a free account and then you can run on your project with the latest version of Xcode obviously okay so let's run the project to see how it looks like all right guys so that is how you can take a photo from this very beautiful camera like snapchat in the next video in the next episode number 73 we are going to learn how we can shot a video from this and then we'll pass that video to our video view controller and then in the last one we'll learn how we can um customize some things like the flash button or to toggle between the front and the real camera and then how we can use some gesture recognizer like double tap to switch from front to facing camera and then maybe slide left and right to switch from photo to video so i hope that you enjoy this episode as always check your inbox now because i just sent you another email so that you can join me in my new free training series on ios development it is my latest course so far so i want you to enjoy that series videos and just enjoy that i hope that you can add more values to you for the day and also subscribe to my channel here on youtube subscribe to the newsletter on luktran.io so i can continue to send you free tutorials free updates and weekly newsletter so hope that you will subscribe here number one subscribe to youtube here number two and uh, subscribe to your start a project below this video and hope that i'll see you in the next episode we'll learn how to take a video in the snapchat camera i see you